Hi, my name is Jake, and I'm an onboarding specialist here at Mark Command. And today, I'm going to walk you through on how to complete an Excel spreadsheet that is sent back to you from your onboarding specialist here at Mark Command. So this right here is an Excel spreadsheet with missing information that is highlighted in yellow for you to fill out. And this is the sheet that your onboarding specialist is going to send back to you for either approval or to fill out. So I'm going to go over the number of columns that are required for upload. And those following columns are name, supplier, product code. We do need product codes to upload if a supplier uses product codes. If a supplier does not use product codes, then product codes are not necessary for upload. Price is required, category, unit of measure, unit quantity, and number of items in a pack. So the next step is we're going to fill in the highlighted missing information. So let's start with this item right here, the water sampel. So as we can see, the supplier is highlighted. So I know I get this from Coca-Cola. So I'm gonna fill out Coca-Cola. They use product codes. The price is $22. So this is probably saying they buy it by the case. The unit of measurement would be EA because we sell it by the each. Unit quantity would be one. And then 12 is already filled in for a number of items in a pack. So this is saying that 12 bottles of water come in a pack, but we sell one at a time. And that's why it's EA 112. The next item is our chicken. It's a five to seven ounce skinless breast. And I know that we also buy this from the butcher shop. So let's fill that out. They use product codes and it costs $49.90. So everything's already filled in because we were able to pick that information off the invoice. So what this is saying, it's a 10 pound pack and it's only one 10 pound pack and it costs $49.90. So the next item we're gonna do is the Diet Coke cans. So I know I buy this from Coca-Cola. So the price of the pack is $10. We sell it by the each. So we need to fill in the number of items in a pack. And I know that there's 12 items in a pack. What this is saying, we sell it by the each, but 12 items come in a pack. And let's not forget about this one, the Grey Goose. So we buy this from LCBO. It's a 20, it's worth $26.51 we purchased it for. So the unit of measurement, I know I buy this in the 750 milliliter bottle. So unit of measurement would be milliliter. Unit quantity would be 750 because it's a 750 milliliter bottle. And we buy it by the bottle, not the case. The number of items in a pack would be one. And this is saying we buy one 750 milliliter bottle for 2651. So the next step would be able to fill in the categories. Categories can be as generic or as specific as you'd like. It's really all up to you. It's just to view the many different reports in market, man. So let's start here. We can do liquor. It could also be called vodka. Do beverages for this one, poultry for the chicken, poultry again, and then for the Coke, we can do soft drink. Okay, great. So now the next two columns I want to go over are price by unit of measurement and merge inventory items. So this column right here, price by unit of measurement, this is only filled out when something is priced by the pound. So the perfect example is this chicken breast right here. As we can see, it costs $1.75. But there's 10 pounds of it. So that wouldn't make sense for 10 pounds to cost $1.75. So what we would do, since it's priced by the unit of measurement, it's priced by the pound. We put, type in yes right here. And then what this is saying is that each pound is $1.75. So 10 pounds is not $1.75 in total. Each pound costs $1.75 each. So the next column, merge inventory item name right here. So merge inventory item is for items that are the same, but bought in different sizes. And another great example is this one, the chicken breast, the skinless, it's the same item, but they're bought in a different size, the five to seven ounce and the three to five ounce. So what we do, we're gonna copy it and it can be this, it doesn't need to be two separate names. It needs to be the exact same name you're putting in this, in this column and it'll merge the items together. And all we do is put in the merge inventory item name and there we go. And that is how you fill out an Excel spreadsheet.